So why do we need data governance? Well, let's take a look at some examples. Patty is a fraud analyst. She wonders if it's okay for her spreadsheet to have customer names on it. She's not quite sure who to ask. Tim and Nancy are working on their retail staffing plans and are wondering if they can use revenue data. Their boss, Bob, thinks it's a great idea, but says they should try talking to someone in revenue assurance. Fred's a business analyst. He thinks it would be really cool if old product trends could be analyzed for comparison with a new product being considered. But he doesn't know if the old data is still around. Anne is in marketing analytics. She knows the new features launched last month, but she's not really sure where to find the data. The problem is that without data governance in place, People are unsure of who to ask for the right answers. Communications are point-to-point -point and randomized, and incorrect information could be used. So we have to rely on collaboration for proper operations in the enterprise, which is risky. With data governance, on the other hand, a governing council sets policies for things like business terms and data elements, such as their definitions and their owners. They set business rules, ruling authorities, acceptable uses for the data, and privacy and compliance policies. They set operational requirements such as testing, data quality processes, and data retention policies. They also stipulate tools and processes for managing metadata, master data, and business glossaries, and business access policies such as security and third-party usage rules. Data stewards assure the needs of business are met by maintaining business terms, assuring that data definitions align, and monitoring for adherence to policies. This results in clear roles and responsibilities, less confusion, faster execution, quicker turnaround, and of course, more opportunities for success.